session we're going to talk about the Tabo pipe and how to hold it. Now you've got a nice bright shiny new Tabo pipe and you're really looking forward to learning how to play it but uh, you want to know how to hold it properly because it's not quite obvious and uh, certainly don't want to be held up by technical issues caused by the wrong playing position in the future. So uh, now would you believe it there's two different ways to hold it, or well, two recognised ways, there are probably lots of other ways that people have invented, but there's two recognised ways to hold it. Uh, I call the first one the Tabra's hold, it's also known as the Piper's hold, and then there's the Recorder Player's hold. So let's look at them in detail. Uh, two holds. Uh, the first hold I'll show is the Tabra's hold, or the Piper's hold, and there you're holding the pipe between the two joints of your ring and little finger, like that. And when you put it in your mouth, very stable, and your other two fingers and thumb can move around quite easily. And then you're covering the holes, not with your fingertips, but with the uh, middle joints of those fingers. There we go, like that. The thumb just covers it as you'd expect. Okay. Now, the other method is to hold it with the tips of your ring finger and little finger, and you cover the holes with the tips of your other fingers, and more of the tip of your thumb as well. I tend to call this the recorder player's hold. So we've got the Tabra's hold, like that, or the recorder player's hold like that. Tabra's hold or the piper's hold and that's the recorder player's hold. So why would you choose one over the other? Well, if you were already a recorder player you might find it quite natural to cover with your fingertips. If you're starting from scratch I would recommend uh, the Tabra's hold or the piper's hold. It's called the piper's hold because bagpipers usually hold, use this technique. The reason why it becomes an issue is when you come to half cover a hole. So if you're half covering a hole, um, as you can see here, if I'm doing it with the finger tip, I have to move my finger a certain amount to make sure I'm covering it the right amount. If I'm using the piper's hold, I can straighten my finger and it just opens up the hole enough to give me the half tone. So record a hold, tabra's hold. Record a hold, Tabra's hold. Now you've learned how to hold the thing, let's look at the playing position. First of all, you want it central. Like that, straight down the centre of the face. Not uh, off to one side like that, or out the corner of your mouth, but straight up and down. And also you want it quite high not hanging down here, um, keep it quite high so that the air comes straight out the mouth, straight through the, the, the airway and straight down the pipe. That's the way the instrument's designed and that's the way you get the best sound out of it. So we've talked about the way to hold it and where to hold it, I'm going to give you a little tip that's going to make it easier for you to hold the pipe and make sure that your fingers are always in the right position. If you look at these pipes, they've all got this wooden bead down just below the lower finger hole. And uh, these ones here, they've all got a special kind of a hook. And the idea of these is so that uh, it keeps the pipe in the right position and it stops the pipe sliding down and uh, your uh, ring finger covering up the hole. So if you've got a generation pipe, uh, it doesn't have that ring, but you can make one with a rubber band. All you need to do is just put the rubber band over, wrap it around a couple of times over the pipe, position it where it's going to be comfortable and there you are there's your um, improvised ring just right for keeping the right position and giving your playing fingers the space they need 
So that's my Tabra's tip.